everyone for joining so i think we have waited 5 minutes as usual we know ji can't stay in time pe nahi jate to 5 minute wait kar liye we can get started my name is umair aslam i am from batch 15 currently work again currently working in snp global islamabad i am also working with jik alumni as a marketing vp so from past year or so we have been arranging so many different ses- sessions for you guys so this is one of our this, same series ke jisme i think different sessions based on the request from different students request student ki request jo hume zyada aa rahi thi cvs aur interview skills ke upar aa rahi thi to usi ke liye i think continuation mein humne isko kiya hai hamare sath i think main high level intro bata de to introduction de deta hu hasan hamare australia se join kiya hua hai wo apna baki introduction khud hi denge aur hame hamza ne poland se join kiya hua hai so thank you hasan thank you hamza for joining or i think let's get this moving so let's start with you hasan Hey everyone, uh, I'm a batch 15 graduate. A uh, year engineering ki nokri karke I quit and I jumped into uh, marketing and design. And uske baad I've done a masters in communication. And I'm currently working in Australia for a financial services company. Simple and professional. Okay. Maybe meri baat aa rahi hai sahi. उसके बाद माई फर्स्ट जॉब वॉज विद नोकिया इन पाकिस्तान नोकियांस um from software development to architecture to deliveries to uh, right now an r&d manager uh, who's, who's leading a team of around 20 engineers over here so i think uh, uh, from from that perspective hiring ki perspective say from from uh, companies like nokia i've been working on that for 10 odd years already so hopefully i can share some things with you guys that will help you uh, over here with that umair bhai shall we get started sure sure हमसे और जस्ट वेड आई थिंक कोई अच्छी जॉब नहीं कर रहे आपका अपना नेट ही स्लो है इतना नोकिया में होते हुए आपका अपना नेट सही नहीं चल रहा ओके लेट मी शेयर माय स्क्रीन एंड लेट मी नो व्हेन इट इज विजिबल देन आई कैन स्टार्ट यस इट्स विजिबल ओके हसन भाई आपने रिकॉर्डिंग शुरू कर दिया ना ओके गुड so anyways uh, just to mention we are recording this session so you'll have it available uh, materials we have share kar denge iske baad uh, so that you can go over it i'll i'll not go into too much details with the presentation i'll just be uh, more or less covering the broad strokes uh, over here you can go over it in detail later uh, aapke koi questions hain kuch hai just feel free to uh, stop us in the middle and uh, and, and uh, ask those we we will answer them at that time और जस्ट ड्रॉप इट इन द मैसेजेस विल विल कवर देम लेटर एज वेल उमेर भाई हसान भाई एंड द फ्यू गाइस वी हैव फ्रॉम द सीनियर्स दैट दैट वी डू सी इफ यू हैव एनीथिंग टू ऐड प्लीज फील फ्री टू स्टेप इन एज वेल यार इट इट्स वी वांट टू हैव दिस हैज मोर ऑफ अ कन्वर्सेशन देन अ प्रेजेंटेशन गोइंग फ्रॉम माय साइड सो प्लीज फील फ्री टू जंप इन my request request aap kya diye so just just keep an eye on that on the messages as well and let me know if if someone doesn't have a mic and has a question please let uh, i can i can answer that right away so um what i want to present to you by the way i will be looking to this side because my presentation is the khuli way don't don't mind about that um this is a presentation that was actually prepared by one of our batchmates from batch 15 uh, jamal uh, who who's not able to present so i'm i'm using his materials that's why you see it's april 21 i didn't want to change anything from that side so uh, we'll be going over this uh, uh, from from his side and right away from uh, the first thing um, the cv what you have what is the importance of that cv so this is the first thing that uh, is seen by a possible employer and this that is why this thing is all it is very important but it does not for sure um if it will not confirm that you're getting a position in the company or not this is the first thing that the person sees so this is a very very important uh, stepping stone that's why you have to spend time on building a good cv on building a clear cv that someone can go through easily and quickly and also gather as much as uh, information about you as possible 
So um, they, this is, like I mentioned, the first thing that they see, uh, which means that roughly, if you look at most of the organizations, your CV hai, that, that goes in a way that uh, there is a central team that is collecting all of these from, uh, um, from the engineers or from people who are interested. They're passing it to some people in human resources, or maybe they're part of the human resources themselves. They do... Uh, overview of the CV, uh, like they, they check for the broad strokes, which managers like me have told them that they want to hire someone who knows Java, who knows X, who knows Y, who knows Z, whatever. Um, and that is on a very high level that they're doing shortlisting. Uske baad wo CVs jate hai, pure ke pure ke, mostly uh, again for shortlisting to towards the teams themselves that are going to do hiring. And of course, on teams ke andar, you have a variety of people with different experiences and Generally, ये shortlisting का जो um, जो role होता है uh, उस team में वो uh, किसी junior को मिल जाता है या अगर कोई बहुत important hiring वाला चल रहा हो तो then of course managers do also do the uh, the the shortlisting but then again they don't spend too much time on your CV so you have to cater to all of these uh, different um, people who will be looking at it to get through the whole shortlisting process. So just keep that in mind when you are uh, when you are uh, uh, making your CV. And we'll go into some details about uh, what is is uh, important in there as well. So if I move on, um, the first thing is that just remember that this is your marketing tool, uh, which means that uh, this should be something that is eye catching for the people who are seeing it. And the first thing that comes in there is the structure of the CV itself. So we have a few examples of uh, CVs pasted over here. You can see that uh, they are made in different designs. That is fine. You don't have to use one single single profile. Just like in our time, I think we have a CV on one template. Ke hai. Uh, mostly, I, Jamal has put his CV on one template. That is exactly the template that I am using. So we, we used to do that, but <laughs> yeah, we used to do that, but it's not super important that you, you use the same one. It just has to be clear, clean, and uh, it, it should be something that uh, is eye-catching for the people. So some basic points, uh, what you have, what you should keep in mind for these, uh, this structure part. Color is always, it, it's eye-catching, it's good, it's easy to highlight. Just like you can see these colors that are over here, this this. Uh, instantly draws your attention. Center wala CV mein you won't be able to, you, you don't see that in the first instance so much. You more focus on these ones. So this is good, but too much color also harms. So be very conservative when using it. Then the next point is clear section dividers. So this is very important because the person who's seeing your CV, um, they don't have too much time to cover on it. You can imagine that if you have a company ke andar you, or, or team, ke andar, you have to offer like two or three positions you have open, but you're getting a hundred CVs. So shortlisting, karne ke liye, how much time you can spend on it, right? You also have the other stuff to do unless the company is hiring massively. Usually they don't have a separate department that is doing the hiring. It's just the same people who you're going to be working with, who are doing the shortlisting, the final shortlisting, the interviews, and then the offering. So they, they, they won't have too much time to spend on it. That's why it should be very clear. They should be able to see, Achha, yaar, summary of skills yahan pe hai. okay, this is not important for me. Let's see, I want to see the co-curricular activities. Okay, so I can read this part and skip the rest or something like that. So that's why these section dividers are very important. They are helpful to jump across the CV for someone. And also, um, if you have these, if someone has three CVs open and they want to select one of them for the interview, they can easily uh, take out the parts that they want to compare uh, for each of the people as well. And then the last thing, contact information and name should draw the eye. This is what the people will remember you by or they should remember you by, right? Um, अगर for example in teen series में से देखें अगर किसी का नाम मुझे अगर मुझे किसी का याद करना है मैं किसी से बाद में बात कर रहा हूँ यार उस बंदे को बुलाना है तो I this is what should I should be remembering अगर मैं किसी को ये कहूँगा यार वो जिसका नील नीले वाला CV था जिसमें bars थीं that will be much harder to find and that might end up harming you as well so this part should be eye catching with someone which which gets uh, which which stays in the mind of the people 
Um, then Jamal has given two sample series just amended for graduates because you guys don't have, won't have too much experience as well. Just one thing to remember from my side, yeah, uh, what I would recommend, especially for you guys, of course, we can put a lot in our CVs. Um, but one thing which was drilled down into me by my seniors as well, aapka CV uh, at a graduate level, it sh should not be bigger than one page. That does not mean that you have font size so small that you can write essays in it. But uh, it should uh, fit into one page with a normal font size so that it is more uh, targeted and more well-defined. So that the person can read quickly and the person can take a decision. Le sake. Che page ka CV, even if you have 10 years of experience, trust me, no one doesn't trust me. I have 6 pages of CVs and I literally discard them from 4 pages. I don't have time to read it, I don't know how much it is. I don't know how much it is. I don't know how much it is. ये किस नौकरी के लिए अप्लाई कर रहा है किसके पास अप्लाई कर रहा है और उस बंदे को क्या चाहिए होगा तो इसने मेरे पास आज काम किया ठीक है दैट काइंड ऑफ थिंकिंग यू शुड लुक एट व्हेन यू आर एक्चुअली रिव्यूइंग योर सीवी और हेल्पिंग सम ऑफ योर फ्रेंड्स रिव्यूइंग देयर सीवीज एंड एंड गिव देम दिस पॉइंटर्स एज वेल ओके ये वो वाली टेम्पलेट है जमाल भाई की जो मैं आपको कहता हूं सारे भी यूज कर रहे हैं ही इज आल्सो गिवन दोस ओवर हियर जस्ट लुक एट देम हाउ दे आर स्ट्रक्चर्ड हाउ दे आर how they're delivering key information later and and this might help you as well uh, hamza do you want to add in a yeah. question which says uh, what is the difference between cv and resume the classic dilemma zara usko bhi agar hum handle in kar le abhi you want to say something for that uh, you can start i will honestly like realistically like in realistic terms there's no difference like hum kehte hain chahe resume is this cv is that farak nahi padta it's an interchangeable term in this day and age इट डज मैटर देर एरा जब आप कहते हैं जी अच्छा कि एक के अंदर आप जो है अपनी कॉम्पिटेंसीज के साथ यू राइट लाइक ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड करियर गोल्स एंड ऑल ऑफ दोज इट्स एन इंटरचेंजेबल टर्म शुड नॉट हैव टू थिंक अबाउट इट एट ऑल yeah yeah completely agree there is one more thing which which comes into the picture but that comes into the picture after you have a little bit of experience which is cover letters some people still prefer to have a cover letter with your cv Uh, or some positions prefer that but at the graduate level i really don't think that you guys need to do that because you won't have that kind of an experience to define in a cover letter or information about how the industry works that has to be very targeted for the position that you are applying for generally uh, zishan jo uh, picture ka case hai we are actually going to talk about it in a bit i think because it will it will fall in in part of the discussion to us pe hum abhi aa jayenge yeah actually that's the next point <laughs> uh, in the presentation anyways so yeah about the picture do's and don'ts um picture if you ask me honestly uh, it it doesn't bring too much value uh, in some places like uh, we were discussing this before as well uh, with with hasan for example in australia like he pointed out it you cannot even put it right hasan because of uh, ethnicity and yeah so basically yeah. the idea here is ke agar aapne picture dali there is a chance ke someone can discriminate against you based on how you look the color of your skin you know the way you appear so you don't want to have like that option fall in play a factor in your hiring so you don't put your picture in for that simple reason that's that's a norm here and i believe that will probably be a norm yeah. like in some other places so it's just that kind of extra like safety for you because पाकिस्तान के अंदर भी लाइक हम कहते हैं कि नहीं होती बट देयर इज डिस्क्रिमिनेशन एवरीवे बेस्ड ऑन द वे यू लुक यू नो द वे यू ड्रेस दोस थिंग्स एंड दे शुड मैटर लाइक इट इट शुड बी रिलेवेंट टू योर सीवी वो आगे इंटरव्यू में अगर आप जाते हो फटे हुए कपड़े पहन के दैट्स अ होल अदर स्टोरी बट फॉर योर सीवी लाइक यू शुड नॉट बी डिस्क्रिमिनेटेड ऑन एनीथिंग अदर देन व्हाट योर स्किल्स आर ऑन पेपर exactly so even uh, hasan what hasan talked about was mainly like something like racial discrimination looking on how you look or how you are looking in that picture but even some things like okay, there is a uh, or there used to be at least a mindset that uh, engineers jo hote hain they don't dress up very neatly they are more like t-shirt wale aur pajamo ke andar pe aayenge right so if someone has that bias that might work against you as well if you take a picture with a suit uh, or or send something like that ke yaar ye banda to time itna time to ye taiyar hone mein laga dega isne tired office mein aake kya karna right so those kind of things can go against you of course they should not but it it's better to avoid something um to to that that you can in your cv 
um for in for the for the entry jobs maybe engine hiring managers will not be googling you or checking your linkedin profiles for your picture or anything but uh, in technical positions for example in computers uh, in in the domain where you are doing software development agar aapne apne github wagaira ke kuch links diye hain we do open those and we see what kind of code you are writing what how active you are in those things and those help immensely so those kind of things uh, should be what you are focusing on more than your picture for me so okay uh, then moving on yeah uh, the next part is your summary statement um, but but before we move to that just again mentioning what uh, uh, in the slide as well what what i mentioned previously a typical recruiter spends 10 to 20 seconds per cv this might be a bit of a very hard truth that is ke aap is 10 or 20 seconds mein aap ek recruiter ye dekhta hai ke maine cv ko detail mein padhna hai ke nahi at least this much decision you make it in the first 10 to 20 seconds and what it depends on aap khud socho agar aapke paas itne cvs aa rahe hain how you would look at those it has to be something that is organized something that is neat something that is not looking like someone just threw a lot of stuff that they have done in their history into a washing machine and something came out and and that's what they presented right it has to be well thought of sake bande ko lage ki yaar isne mehnat ki hai so maybe if he did he, if the person spent so much time on their cv maybe i can spend a minute more on that right and then the summary statement this is your pitch about what you want to do and what you should have over here put your accomplishments put your uh leadership what you have done in your societies in your day to day work ghar pe khud kuch kiya hai doston ke sath kuch is tarah ka kiya tha arrange whatever for you that it might be hard to come by but look at your projects look at your labs whatever you've created and use those uh, i would suggest or if you're working in societies uh, in in some positions in in some events you've done some special things take those and put those uh, over here those will help um put your interests put your passions uh passion is what shows uh, the people who are reading your cv what you will be willing to spend even your own free time in learning or or what you will be keen on learning agar mera passion is uh, software development aur mujhe koi accounts ki kitabein ya accounts ka kaam karana shuru kar dega to of course i will not be of, i can do it i can spend 8 hours in the office to do it but i will not be learning that or i will not be building that or on top of that in my personal time or in my life as such so that might be a slow uh, skill that will come to me rather than software development jisme agar 8 ghante maine office mein kaam bhi kar liya hai to uske baad bhi main apni hobby ke type pe bhi wo kaam kar raha hu so my my growth will be more beneficial for the employer as well and of course meri energy level bahut different so those kind of things uh, will help you as well um and put a statement in a way that grabs the interest of the person they what your cv should be doing in uh, in essence is that it is giving bullet points for the person who is actually reading that cv first of all of course to shortlist you and then bullet points for discussion with you during your interview um interviews we will touch that slightly a little bit maybe in this in the end of this session but in in general uh, jo aapke interviews hote hain for me they fall in two categories one category is where people have prepared questions they have a list of questions that they have to ask you and to check some technical hard points or some um some some uh, personality hard points and they just to go through that list with everyone and see and, and rank everyone and see who they want to pick and then there is another set where uh, you don't have an interview you have more or less a conversation with the people there they don't care what your skills are if they align to what the team needs or not right now mostly it what they are checking is how quickly you learn and what are your interests and what type of things you want to work on so you have to cater to both of these because you don't know who is going to be reading your cv or who is going to be interviewing you of course but of jab aap interview ke andar jaate ho then you find out and then you have to um tailor your answers or your questions uh, or or your your uh, um, talking points in a way that you can address what they need so just keep this in mind as well a few examples uh, again um i'll just go over one of them then you can look, look at the rest of the details uh, later as well just what what has been pointed over here so your motivation your domain uh, what you have done uh, of course this begs the question how have you proven your leadership skills you should be ready with that answer at least in that interview 
uh, session or in a short call if they, they want to have it with you. So whatever you write, just, just think of it like that as well. Uh, take initiative, have an example ready, what initiative you took, what was, why was it an initiative, why was it not part of the plan already, and seek out new challenges. So what have you done uh, that, that shows that you want to do this, right? So this kind of thing, this, this statement already gives me three questions to start an interview with you, which, which is a good thing that we can have a conversation. And, and then you, you can show me what you have done already and uh, um, convince me that you will be doing something similar in, in your work environment with me, right? When, when we go for a hiring, for example. Okay, then another question in the education, do we add a GPA or not? This is not a straightforward yes or no question again. Um, it can harm you, it can uh, benefit you. So, if your GPA, uh, for example, is on borderline pe hai 2.01 or something, um, that in, in some people's mind or in some organizations, they have a benchmark that we are taking only GPA 2.5 or higher or 3 or higher or something like that. Uh, and, and then it might harm you as well. Uh, but in some cases, uh, if you don't write it, then it is also uh, not a very nice uh, view. Ke, is ne kyun likha? What is he trying to hide? Then you get into that domain as well. So for me, it's okay for, for you guys because your, your professional experience is not there to be highlighted. So writing the GPA is fine, but you should have an answer, a proper answer uh, to justify that GPA, even if it is low. Um, it might harm you if it is too high as well, because some people also think that uh, 3.96 is the theta, it's not a good book, it has no experience or hands-on experience, it's not a good book. Then the rest of your CV should be counterbalancing that and showing that you also want to work hands-on on things or you, you are doing some things in your private time or in your uh, projects that are not like the, the bookish things that are outside uh of that as well son do you want to add anything here uh and another thing to add on this is ke, again like wait, explanation wali, na, if you're adding your gpa and it's something and if you're adding your high school grades and those are something else then you have to justify ke, oh what happened yeah. why did i become better or worse and it's it and it's easier to not put your grades on because you want to impress them with your skills and show them care it's not what my grades it's what i've learned that matters okay you can have poor grades but for your job to your skills you can be very good at those okay you don't need to have all your skills that you studied in university be relevant for the job so you want to drive that focus to something that's relevant for instance i made cv i put in my degree undergrad key but i don't mention any like i don't mention my final year project, I don't mention my grade because it's not relevant to any of the jobs that I apply to. And if they ask me, then I will take it. But what that implies to them is that, oh, that's not really even important. And once later on, when you have your CVs, like once you've got actual experience, then education takes second stage to your actual work experience anyways, then it becomes even less important. Yeah. And even as you uh, move in your career, your past years of experience start getting less and less important as well. Like my first position, which was a software developer, is the least important right now for me because my architecture or uh, uh, management uh, skills, hai, those are the ones that I am pitching for uh, in my next positions, for example. Okay, then moving on, uh, work experience. You guys, like we were mentioning, uh, would have a limited work experience. The key is to stretch what you already have. How do you do that? Just like I was mentioning already, look at what you've done in your private time, in your projects, whatever, and word it in a very, um, a very special, very um, catching way. So for that, there is uh, there are some um, some some advice given over here as well. Use actionable word, verbs, which means you have to show that you were leading something, you were creating something, you were managing something, whatever. You can go over this in detail a little bit. Uh, uh, once, we, once we share the presentation, I will just jump to the next few slides and then go to a few examples because there it will be a little bit clearer. Um, before the, but before the examples, one more thing. Uh, yeah, this is again a similar thing about how it should be structured. This is a concept or a philosophy. I was talking to Hassan before this presentation as well. We came up with two more, which are more or less the same. 
and these are uh, what are shared in all communication uh, trainings as well okay how you should put some statements uh, you should have a context what was going on what you were going to do uh, what was the uh, the environment what was the action that you did and what was the result and all of this should be quantifiable uh, or or quantified in your cv and and given um, in a very clear way what i mean by that for example agar hum idhar dekhein to there are two ways that you can put uh, ek expenses ka apne excel mein kuch banaya tha made excel that compiled all expenses for a week this kept covers everything that was done in that excel it was an excel it was a, it was a place where you could put the expenses that you were doing for a week maybe it did some formulas or whatever but what was what is the benefit that a person who's reading this gets from it so what do we do okay developed a weekly expense tracker first of all this word itself gives a little bit more meaning about what your role itself was in that in that whole enterprise that we are discussing which uh, that helped cut down budget reconciliation process so this is what you were working on this is the improvement that you did by doing this excel the reason for what you made it why you made it uh, from 3 days to 1 hour and this is the quantifiable part aapne improvement ki kit 3 days to 1 hour is a hell of an improvement the people people uh, would like to discuss then this point how does it do that why do you think that it turns turns it down to from 3 to 1 hours why do you think that it can be reduced more do you think that uh, this is it do you did you have some iterations in the middle aapne apna pura design kis tarah banaya to is tarah ki discussion then during your interview becomes helpful and becomes um it becomes helpful for you to share your own uh, knowledge and your own uh, work experience across uh okay then moving on um work experience again this is not something that you will have already but you can use your society experience your projects in such a way uh, i will skip this slide and just show you uh, an example again so what we were discussing previously about having clear uh, divisions or having clear points about uh, all of this that is all captured over here you can see this this part which is highlighted one what the person was doing where he was doing it time so this is standard template part like uh, of the cv right then you have some kind of a summary about the whole of the whole of the work experience what was done with some quantifiable numbers three may you will see these actionable words used like they were delivering something they were directly managing a supplying services manager leading some team uh, leading a task force and then again on the fourth we got the uh, outcome of participating in the three year strategy so what was the uh, actionable outcome and then um, more or less i think uh, going towards the end of the cv uh, your extracurricular activities these should also be um, worded in the similar way uh, like we've been discussing ke aap usko pura ek context uh, uska action or result batao another example over here event manager for all parks uh, all park robotics competition this might mean something very specific and very detailed while you are in gik for someone who's coming from gik he might be able to relate to what this all encompasses but jo banda aapka cv pad raha hai he might not have that knowledge so you have to make it clearer for them we led a team of 21 people to organize all pakistan robotics competition that already gives you gives the person a uh, 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 an idea of the size of the the enterprise that you were managing and then you can add things like acha uh, wo pakistan ke andar ji bahut important unique event hai um, robotics ka hai whatever you can give some more details over here which will be helpful uh, again to drive a discussion or to drive some or something with the person uh, who who's going to read the cv or who's going to interview you and then you have uh, yeah what did you do differently so how are you evolving something there is a it might be a little bit off track but there is a very uh, persistent thing that you might hear in your professional careers and that is that the only constant is change and the people who are uh, willing to change who are willing to evolve with the organization if that you can if that you can show that with your cv or if you can show that in your in your interview that gives you a huge leg up because the biggest problem for an organization to grow is that they have to do some changes and at that time the people who are resisting change are the ones who are holding an organization back so if you can already show in the start that you are willing 
to evolve you are willing to do what is needed you are willing to um, learn that will be very important or if that will give you a good uh, good good starting point uh, in your uh, interview as well as in your career uh, once you once you start somewhere there is there is another example that is given you can look at it later uh, but uh, in the interest of having a conversation with you guys later i'll like skip that and the last thing uh, interest this is this is the last thing uh, to be honest this is the last thing that someone who's reading your cv looks at um this will not uh, change the decision of the cv uh, if they're going to interview or not but this is something which will uh, which will be an extra thing on top it shows uh, what your um what your uh, interests are what you want to do in your free time or what you do do in your free time and this might be the place where an interview starts if you match an in some interest with someone uh, who's on the panel like i have seen people uh, written right in their uh, in in their cvs that they are reading books or they are traveling if that is my interest this is a good ice breaker for me to start the the conversation with the person acha what have you done what have you read recently where have you traveled and that makes the whole environment comfortable what that helps with is ke jab aap interview dene jaate ho of course you are a little bit stressed everyone is a little bit stressed even if they have been working 20 years in an organization they will get a little bit of stress in the interview because of course someone is sitting in front of you and they are going to judge you right that is the point of the interview what that does is that it tones down the environment it helps make it like a conversation rather than an interrogation and which means that they are more willing to forgive some things that you might be not uh understand right away uh, or you might you might have to ask them again about something um you are more comfortable because you you don't have that pressure about not knowing what the other person is uh, like if they are talking about some interest of yours of course your spirits lift up as well so those kind of things are what what help over here and then uh, okay that that's more or less the content of the uh, the the cv itself and just a few things which we can jump into more details uh, after this presentation these are the last three or four slides most important stuff honesty you have to be honest in your interview of course you can stretch the truth that is not a problem but you should be able to justify uh, what you have written you should at least even agar aapne project mein likha hai ki maine ek cheez pe kaam kiya hai you didn't do too much of it or you didn't do all of it if someone else was helping you you should know that part as well Uh, so that if the question goes in that domain you can answer it at least on a little bit by by saying uh, that this was not the part that i was focusing on someone else was working on this but i know that they thought of this 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 and this is how they thought to approach this problem um in a project when you're working with a team it's okay to know not know what the other person did but it's not okay to completely be oblivious to how someone who integrated to your own solution did not uh, did how 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 they developed it right so you should know at least some things about what your teammates are doing all the time otherwise you're not a team player you're you're working uh, individually and individuals do contribute a lot they might be the highest performing people in a team but still the teams are what are what um, the teams are the ones that make a bigger product work in the whole uh, in the whole environment right in, in overall view and सामने बंदा बैठा हुआ है koi nahi hoga they just end you know, interview khatam hoga they never get back to you that's it so, so the rest of your cv might be like a, a plus and the rest of your answer might be a plus but if you have if you're caught on some dishonest point in your cv that is a huge red flag for everyone and and that might de de degrade those a plus to c directly okay and then the last thing second most important rule spell check there should not be grammar or spelling mistakes in your uh, cv 
i know cvs are not a test of your english language skills but this is what you what what the person sees as you presenting yourself uh, to them and this should be something that is taken very carefully it should be something that you have that should show that you've spent time on it time energy effort you have spent uh, on that and that 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 makes a difference मतलब अगर आपको स्पेलिंग मिस्टेक मिले एक सीवी के अंदर एंड देयर आर लाइक फोर पीपल रिव्यूइंग दैट सीवी ऑन अ कॉल आई कैन गिव यू एग्जांपल्स दैट पीपल जस्ट स्टॉप देयर एंड दे लाफ एंड देन दे मूव ऑन राइट एंड दैट इज नॉट हाउ यू वांट टू बी रिमेंबर्ड इट्स जस्ट अ टेस्ट ऑफ योर अटेंशन टू डिटेल लाइक दे वांट टू सी हाउ डिटेल ओरिएंटेड यू आर कितनी आप अटेंशन पे करते हैं नीटी ग्रिटीज को हाउ गुड यू आर एट रिव्यूइंग यू नो अपने लाइक योर सेल्फ एक तो होता है ना सेल्फ critical like critically apne aap ko examine karna like it's a lot of things that go into that like it's and again it feels like oh yaar ek bahut hi aap overthink kar rahe ho it's just a spelling mistake but that's just how it is because if you make a spelling mistake it feeds into that ability like bigger picture of care oh this person is a bit careless and they're going to make mistakes and not review them or not catch them on a second pass yeah uh okay then uh what you should have must have or uh, name contact details objective personal statement ye aapko template mein waise hi mil jati hai education work history work history of course you won't have but education you can put it over there if you have some internships or work history that helps as well your skills what you are applying for these should be tailored to the company that you are applying to for example if you or or the role even that you are applying to agar aap technical role ke liye apply kar rahe ho put your technical skills if you are applying for a मैनेजमेंट रोल पुट योर मैनेजमेंट स्किल्स मैन टेक्निकल रोल में मैनेजमेंट स्किल्स का फायदा नहीं है मैनेजमेंट स्किल रोल के अंदर टेक्निकल स्किल का फायदा नहीं है सो दिस शुड बी टेलर्ड और या इवन टुवर्ड्स द डोमेन्स अगर आप सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट के लिए अप्लाई कर रहे हो ऑफ कोर्स योर सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट स्किल्स मैटर योर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग और योर केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग स्किल्स डोंट मैटर uh extra curricular work volunteering uh, this always this is always a plus this shows what your interests are and what you are spending your uh, free time or your energy on uh, and of course like in in the interest in the in the uh the last slide uh, other considerations for the cv uh, mostly up to up physical cv nahi de rahe hote uh, but do take them along a few printed copies along with you uh, in an interview that gives a good impression even if the person has an a printed copy with them uh, this that book gives a good impression that you are prepared uh, and that you've thought this thing over generally um, if when you're sending a digital copy of your cv please always send it as a pdf that is that is that that does make a difference in the impression that you are giving um it should be professional looking email address in there qt for you 1985 okay at yahoo.com that that is again is not something professional and that does make a difference no matter how small and how um like cr stupid it might look but that does make a difference and it's not your linkedin pro yeah free for you it's even the fact that 2022 mein aap yahoo.com ka email address server use kar rahe hain to that is maybe going to be a bigger point against you yeah linkedin profile uh, that helps uh, if you are on a technical position if you have some technical publishing publications software developers ke liye github ke links or if you've done some projects somewhere those things uh, links to those if they can read something offline to prepare for your interview those things help a lot because that shows that you are already thinking about how uh, or already contributing some to some open source things or sort online and that shows that you are you're serious about stuff as well so this helps the, uh, the the interviewer prepare and then of course if the interviewer has looked at your software development uh, uh, unless someone is just coming to the interview to to bash you which is not usually the case like 99% because people don't have time to do just interviews for just fun so then this gives them uh, the domain on which they should discuss something with you and that is a huge point up for you because agar 1.5 ghante ka interview hai 15 minute interview khali hai dekhne mein laga de ke um maine isse puchna kis domain mein hai which he knows uh, and and then we can have a discussion then you are wasting those 15 times to 15 minutes to impress the person if he knows this beforehand and and can start directly from that that will help you gain those 15 extra minutes in the interview from the other candidates to to impress the person and to get the position 
with that my presentation and my monologue is finished uh thank you and good luck ki last slide thi jamal bhai ki but we'll we'll continue over here uh, if you have questions let's go ahead with them uh umair bhai uh, then we also have to go over the cvs right yeah so i think ji humne hamare paas kuch ha question answer hasan saath saath answer karta rahe phir bhi i think agar koi log chat nahi pad rahe the to hum ek dafa go through kar lete hain taaki saron ke paas aa jaye i think ek to ha so ha ठीक है काशिफ हेलो सर माय क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम सर हसान फर्स्टली व्हाई यू क्विट योर जॉब एंड सेकंडली व्हिच यूनिवर्सिटी यू वुड रिकमेंड फॉर एमएस इन कम्युनिकेशन पाकिस्तान एंड लास्टली प्लीज हाईलाइट द बेसिक टिप्स हाउ टू इंप्रूव कम्युनिकेशन ऑन डेली बेसिस वैसे इस पे सॉरी एक मिनट सॉरी हसान इसमें आई थिंक एक जो हमसे बात कर रहा था टेंशन टू डिटेल काशी भी आई थिंक अगर टॉपिक आप देखोगे ना इसका आपके तीनों क्वेश्चन जिस चीज पे ये वर्कशॉप हो रही है उन तीनों से रिलेटेड नहीं है तो इसके लिए आई थिंक सॉरी हसान मैं आंसर नहीं करने दूंगा तो आप हसान को नहीं अगेन ये आपको डिस्करेज नहीं कर रहे अगेन स्टेइंग ऑन द टॉपिक ठीक है जो टॉपिक है उससे रिलेटेड था तो ठीक है वट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन रीच आउट टू हसान ठीक है ऑन लिंक इन रीच आउट टू हिम और उससे अगेन वट एवर डिट अगर आप वो वाली वीडियो खोल के देखो तो उसमें आई थिंक हमने पंद्रह मिनट बीच में कम्युनिकेशन की डिस्कशन की थी बिकॉज फ्री लांसिंग एंड हाउ यूर कम्युनिकेटिंग लिंक टू दैट इज वेल सो आई वुड ऑल्सो से इंटरनशिप पे गया था तो वो भी इस तरह वो पूछ रहे थे आप इंटरव्यू में क्या बताएंगे कि मतलब लॉन्ग टर्म आप उनके लिए क्या कर सकते हैं तो हम किस तरह उसको आंसर कर सकते हैं yeah so this jumps a little bit into the interview domain and i we were already discussing that we'll have to touch that when when we are talking about cvs so of course uh, when you're graduating uh, you don't have too much experience so you don't uh, you can't make a multiple copies of your cvs uh, based on the specifics that an organization might need but you will, you will have to do that in the future i'm starting with that because that just gives you a highlight about what i'm going to say and why i'm going to say that what you should do before an interview uh, aapne jis role ke liye apply kiya hai reach out to people who might be working in that role uh, who you know or who might have come in contact with that role who might know more about the organization about what the company is doing what the company is doing in the specific country that you are applying to for example and see what Uh, and, and try to guess, or even just Wikipedia helps you sometimes about. If, uh, for example, I'm in Nokia, I'm working on. So I'll use that example. If you check Nokia software development Poland, you will find out exact products what are being worked on over here, right? And then you can figure out uh, at least a little bit about what the organization might be going, uh, might be doing to work, going towards. You do not need to have a concrete answer saying that sir, I will make you a A B C application and then that will help you, or that will bring your development time down by fifty percent or whatever. That is not what is required as an answer from a person who is sitting outside the organization. But if you say something like, um, I know that you are working on X Y Z things. I have read up a little bit on that. I am interested in working in these things. Uh, I have these X Y Z skills, or I have worked in X Y Z project. which i think will be uh, something that you are looking for in your team and that is what i want to bring to the table and of course i want to learn from your organization and to address what questions or address what uh, uh, what problems you have over there to bring some future benefit that kind of a goal answer or that kind of a overview answer works a lot that that works completely from my perspective at least it is a very generic question and that question is basically thrown out there just to see ke banda kitna prepared not uh, to see ke exactly isne hamare paas aake kya karna hai because what you are going to do in an organization you won't know until the first month you've spent over there 
the person who's hiring you will have a plan in their mind about what they want you to do uh, and that might not be something that is uh, visible in the or uh, in, in the posting that they've done as well it might be something that uh, they have on the back end because for example again i'll take an example from my my uh, nokia domain hamare paas yahan pe usually 3 400 openings har waqt hoti hain in poland uh, for different uh, so, software development profiles बट उन तीन चार सौ ओपनिंग्स के पीछे देर आर इक्वली एज मच टीम्स सिटिंग देर एंड देर वेर बिल्डिंग लाइक सेवन और एट प्रोडक्ट ओवर देर सो यू डोंट नो वेर योर सी वी इज गोइंग टू एंड वी हैव वन प्रोफाइल फॉर ऑल ऑफ दो ओपनिंग एंड यू डोंट नो विच वन ऑफ दो टीम्स योर सी वी इज गोइंग टू एंड सो देर इज नो वे फॉर यू टू एक्जैक्टली नो वट दिस इज गोइंग टू बी वट यूर गोइंग टू बी इंटरव्यूड फॉर अंटिल यूर एट द इंटरव्यू राइट बट इट विल बी इन अ सर्टन area software development ka area so you can talk about that that would be my answer hopefully maine zyada confuse nahi kiya aapko asan <laughs> okay so we have a, a next question from mohammed ishan is there any reputable online portal which helps in making cvs with examples and country specific tips so do cheeze ek google it please just google it like there are million services jo ki cvs aapko bana ke de denge but an easier option is Microsoft Word के अंदर आप जब नई न्यू डॉक्यूमेंट बनाते हो तो देर टेम्पलेट ऑप्शन में आपको अब सीवीज के टेम्पलेट मिल जाते हैं यू कैन फिल इन टू एनी वन ऑफ दो जहाँ तक कंट्री स्पेसिफिक टिप्स हैं आई थिंक द बेस्ट लोकेट लाइक आइडिया फॉर दैट इज टू रीच आउट टू समन एलमना में यूल फाइंड पीपल इन ऑलमोस्ट एवरी कंट्री तो यू कैन जस्ट रीच आउट टू मोस्ट ऑफ दम फॉर दैट स्पेसिफिक एडवाइस एंड द अदर इज रेडेड लाइक इट्स आई आई नो इट्स एन ऑर्ड थिंग बट रेडेड पर जाओ ड्रॉप अ क्वेश्चन यूल get multiple answers aapko ek koi ek answer nahi milega but big like do's and don'ts jo hote hain wo generally har country ke same hote hain like you know jo discuss hoye which is you know don't put out don't put photos spelling mistake all of those वैसे कोई लाइक जो कंट्री स्पेसिफिक इश्यूज होते हैं वो वीजा के होते हैं जनरली एंड वो आपके वर्क राइट्स के होते हैं एंड दैट्स अ होल अदर डिस्कशन सो उसका इतना एंड एंड एक्चुअली यू डोंट नीड टू केयर अबाउट दोस द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज टू केयर अबाउट दोस थिंग्स इफ समवन इज हायरिंग समवन फ्रॉम अब्रॉड इट्स देयर हेडेक इट्स सीरियसली नॉट योर हेडेक हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू गेट देयर एंड दैट कम्स आफ्टर द इंटरव्यू दैट डज नॉट कम इवन एज पार्ट ऑफ द इंटरव्यू अच्छा हमसे एक सॉरी उससे पहले एक क्वेश्चन था आई थिंक वो जो चैट पे तो डिस्कस हो गया लेकिन स्टिल प्लीज मेंशन स्टैंडर्ड फ़ॉन्ट साइज ऑफ हेडिंग्स एंड डिटेल टेक्स्ट ऑन सिंगल पेज तो इसको आई थिंक कवर कर लेते हैं बिफोर मूविंग ऑन टू द सीवीज आई विल हैव टू ओपन माय ओन सीवी टू सी व्हाट एग्जैक्ट फ़ॉन्ट साइज आई एम पुटिंग देयर नहीं आई थिंक उसमें आई थिंक उसका बेसिक्स सो अगेन हां एनीथिंग व्हिच इज रीडेबल आप उसके अब लेट्स अज्यूम आप हायरिंग मैनेजर आप हो ऐसी चीज जिसको आप खुद कंफर्टेबली रीड कर सकते हो तो दैट अगेन हम लोग भी जब थे या तो कोशिश यही होती थी मैक्सिमम चीजें डालें जो फोन साइज इतना छोटा 9.5 9 8.5 तक भी ले गए थे आई थिंक दैट्स नॉट एडवाइजेबल विद एक्सपीरियंस अब हमने जो हमें आईडिया हुआ है कि व्हाट इज इजीली रीडेबल फॉर द अदर पर्सन तो आप थिंक एंड लुक एट हाउ इट या प्रिंट अ कॉपी that is what i was going to say print a copy read it and see if that is uh, that that looks okay and balanced to you matlab aapka itna bhi bada naam nahi hona chahiye ki it is covering like 10% of the page so just 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 think that if if it looks comfortable and if it looks fine then it's fine but but print it and see it that would be the advice ठीक है क्विकली आई थिंक मैंने रिक्वेस्ट की थी कुछ स्टूडेंट्स को सीवीज दे दें हम उसको ताकि मोर ऑफ इंटरेक्टिव सेक्शन सेशन बना दें और आप लोगों को आइडिया हो कि जब हमारे पास सीवी आती है तो इसमें आई थिंक उतना टाइम थोड़ा हम ज्यादा ही स्पेंड कर रहे होंगे बट यूजली वट है एक सीवी आती है हमारे पास तो हम उसमें क्या क्या चीज़ देखते हैं इशूज हैं तो थैंक यू फॉर ऑल द पीपल हु हैव शेयर देयर सी वी थम्स अब भाई आई थिंक लेट स्टार्ट वन बाई वन so uh, basically we've not seen these cvs before we just got them before the meeting uh, and uh, i've only downloaded them to a folder and uh, we're going to show you how we are going over those cvs once we get them so in my organization what i'd get is basically a zip file uh, har hafte actually two times a week uh, with a bunch of cvs uh, and uh, um, for for the people who have applied to hr or what hr has reached out to them Uh, and that bunch is basically a, a zip file that i'm getting and i have to shortlist people from that zip file and reply to the hr within one day because uske baad unhone apna aage process shuru karna hota so this is just to give you a timeline over here an idea about ke hame kitni jaldi ye sara kuch karna hai theek hai i have my other duties i have a 21 engineer team that i am leading 
uh, and and still I have to do this. This is something that I have to do if I'm planning to hire something. So what it generally looks like is, इस तरह का मेरे पास एक फोल्डर आता है जब मैं उसको अनजिप कर लूँ आप अगर मेरी स्क्रीन देख सको and the first thing which i wanted to highlight we have four cvs the first thing that i wanted to highlight was you can see uh, that okay resume a uh, here we have a name here this looks like someone did something to a conversion thing this this does not look neat um is try to have it clear try to have your name in a place so that it is easier for the person to find uh not like resume a resume b or something internal that you want to keep something uh, in in mind uh what i been just uh, do myself of course that might not be the perfect way to do it mera 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 naam hota hai aur uske aage maine jis year mein wo cv update kiya hota hai wo year hota hai so, so that i can keep track of what uh, uh how till when i have put the my 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 latest achievements or whatever in the cv and of course it it also helps because uh, sometimes people are coming back to these as well a little bit later so they know when which when when they got this uh, cv the second thing which i wanted to highlight again i was telling that in the presentation there is one which is a docx uh, sending a docx to an organization is not does not look professional so i would recommend against that it should be a generally a pdf docx ka sabse bada masla ye hai that it gives a feeling that it can be tampered with right that might not be the case they might completely trust their hr that they will not change anything but still it doesn't look professional because this is something that is a working document it's not a final result produced result right so that's the only only reason against it then we can go over the cvs so i'll open resume a so ideally first name last name agar aap apna डायलॉग करें फर्स्ट अगेन सिंगल नेम इज इनफ बट अगेन प्रोफेशनली जो फॉर्मल कम्युनिकेशंस हो रही होती हैं फर्स्ट नेम लास्ट नेम उसमें आपका और यूजुअली आई थिंक जो सबसे ज्यादा वर्ड यूज होता है सीवी को फाइनल वाला वर्ड होता है तो प्लीज फाइनल वाला वो इंटरनल जिस तरह हम अपने लिए यूज कर रहे हैं अपने इंटरनल के लिए आप जो मर्जी करें बट जब भी आप सेंड कर रहे हैं तो मेक श्योर इट जस्ट योर फर्स्ट नेम लास्ट नेम या या so uh, i'll i'll just point out one more thing so ali hader uh, ka ye cv hai okay the name is quite visible it's quite clear you have the contact information as well that's good but uh, coming back again to reiterate on my previous point amani ali hader ka cv dekh liya i have to come back to this after a week just to see uh, or, or i have the interview after a week um, i have to share this with someone else whatever i go back to my folder mera ali hader ka cv nahi khula hua how do i find it right रेज्यूमे ए मुझे सारे खोलने पड़ेंगे देन आई विल सी अली हैदर का कौन सा था दैट्स व्हाई द नेम इन द सीवी इज इंपॉर्टेंट राइट दैट हेल्प्स अस गो बैक टू द सीवी इफ यू वांट टू टेक अ लुक एट इट अगेन इफ यू वांट टू सी समथिंग स्पेसिफिक इफ यू वांट टू शेयर इट विद समवन सो दैट्स दैट्स योर बेनिफिट इफ यू पुट योर नेम दैट्स व्हाई आई एम आई एम फोकसिंग ऑन दैट सो मच ओके लेट मी ज़ूम आउट अ बिट uh okay ali hader we have the academics uh jik me 2019 to present uh, electrical engineering power bachelor of science that's fine uh we don't have a gpa that's okay because the person is still over there i don't really need to dig into that work experience okay first thing i notice is this formatting for me seems a little bit odd i would just put this uh, actually move this a little bit back the heading and move this uh, to a, a little bit in the front because that would help make it like a proper tabular format rather than having a zigzag right um electrical engineer intern during my internship at pakistan largest power generation station i worked in the following sections uh, power station okay for from from the first look this is quite nice how you've put uh, all of your sections like you've you've distinguished between them uh, about uh, what it has been what i would look at is that this is two months and you you you've worked on four positions so that's roughly two weeks on each position and what i will be looking into the details over here of course i'm not from an electrical engineering background maybe asan you will be able to comment on it a little bit more but what my target over here by reading this would be to judge how much you might have learned in those two weeks in each of these departments and that two week is just my assumption right that might be completely wrong but that is something that you get from this bulleted format yeah. uh, 
उसमें मैं ओवरऑल ऐड इन इसके इफ यू गो बैक टू लाइक जो हमने डिस्कशन की थी व्हिच इज अ वाज अ कार और कैट आई फॉरगॉट दिस सो मेनी बट इफ यू गो बैक सो इफ यू लुक एट द थिंग लर्नड अबाउट द स्कारा सिस्टम या असिस्टेड डिटेक्शन स्टीम सो दोस आर लाइक पैसिव स्टेटमेंट्स अगेन यू नीड टू शो एक्टिव कि यार व्हाट डिड आई लर्न क्या असिस्ट किया नहीं व्हाट प्रॉब्लम डिड यू हेल्प सॉल्व और व्हाट डिड यू गेन लाइक वो उस थोड़ा सा उसको आप रीस्ट्रक्चर करें इसको and that will help because you've got the information is there introduced to you know switch our protection or so it's just a learning session so what you can rephrase this as is k uh you know you had a crash course in the essentials of a uh, circuit breaker control panel theek hai and then you were given a task and you solved that task or you solved the problem with it because it's an internship so we want to see care aap ko unhone sirf ye nahi hua ke unhone you know makhon laan wali gal कि आपको कुछ दे दिया एंड देन यू जस्ट मूव ऑन फ्रॉम इट नहीं देवर सी यार अच्छा इसको सिखाया गया एंड वाज ही टेस्टेड ऑफ डिड ही टेस्ट समथिंग हिमसेल्फ सो इसको थोड़ा सा लाइक एंड अगेन इफ दैट डिडंट हैपन बट यू नो व्हाट टू डू यू कैन रीफ्रेज इट यू कैन स्ट्रेच दैट ट्रूथ अ बिट एंड शो इट इन अ वे केयर हां मैंने ये किया प्रोवाइडेड यू एक्चुअली नो द आंसर यू नो कि आपसे कोई पूछे और आपको पता ही नो कि आपने लिखा हुआ क्या है इसके अंदर ये अ क्विक नोट आल्सो आई थिंक जो हम आई थिंक एक जो याद अभी आई ये चीज व्हिच इज के व्हेन यू आर putting stuff on your cv reverse chronological order latest first and then backwards from there always yes yeah i think that's mostly what i have on this one just that section okay uh let me go over the rest of it as well i'll i'll just go over clear closely so if i can think of something Okay, this looks fine. Academic projects, voltage. See now in these two sections, uh, the formatting is changing, right? You have these uh, clover-shaped bullets over here, but here this is changing to dots. This gives me a little bit of inconsistency. Again, over here the uh, the the formatting is also different, right? This shows me that there is no there is little attention to detail and in. this gives a bit bit of a bad feeling right just that it is not so um clear um i will say it's a, on a side note uh, soft skills ke andar aap working odd hours is generally uh, not a soft skill and it's not something you should be putting on a cv because it's it's a like especially outside park it's a very gray area because you can't be working odd hours if you are not legally mandated to be working those so that's just a thing to keep in mind when you're like putting stuff in and uh, so soft skills can there of these functions willingness to travel no teamwork active learning initiative yes but willingness to travel working odd hours no that's just you saying yeah please hire me I'm desperate, which we all are, which we all are. Yes, you know, I'm not. But you don't say that yeah, you don't openly. वो आप कहते नहीं हो. You, we all are. ठीक है. I'm not saying this is a bad thing. You know, we've all been there all the time, and it's fine. But you don't say it out like that. It's just how the system works, unfortunately. Yeah. और आई थिंक सॉरी के नासिर ने ही पॉइंट आउट किया कि दोनों इंटर्नशिप आई थिंक उसकी उस जून जून में दोनों स्टार्ट हो रही हैं तो वो भी ऊपर जो इंटर्नशिप्स का भी तो उमर दिस इज नॉट एन इंटर्नशिप दिस इज अ वर्चुअल प्रोग्राम दिस इज मोर लाइक फॉर मी आई वुड अंडरस्टैंड दिस एज अ ऑनलाइन कोर्स और समथिंग दैट दे टॉक व्हिच कैन बी इन पैरेलल आई सॉ दैट एज़ वेल बट देन दिस दिस पॉइंट इट आउट ठीक है um then looking at the programming and ict skills uh, for me this is a bit of a mess i can't uh, figure out what you want to tell me and what you want to work on very clearly over here of course what i would do is split these into different categories like i see that you have some some are these hardware related skills the plc microcontrollers what you've done uh, some of them are software development skills put them in in a single row as a software development skills right uh, put these as a the hardware that you worked with something like that um technical report writing 
this is not something that I would say this is something that would be expected. This is not something that you need to mention in a CV. Uh, engineering econo economics, again, if you're not applying for a company that is specifying this, that, that is going to work on this, then you don't need to mention. Of course, you, you know all of these things. I'm not saying that you don't know all of these things. The point is that it's too much information for the person to swallow and remember. Right. So just just to be very precise on what, again, the question that we were asked, how do you answer? What are you offering the organization? This is what you're offering the organization. What are you telling them that this is what I bring to the table? Right. So those things, try to try to narrow these down to those and, and to simplify these in categories and, and put it in that way. Uh, okay. Soft skills and soft skills Hydra already, Hassan already covered. Online courses, you've done these courses, that's, that's good. I would put them in some kind of a, a bullet over here uh, in, the, in the academic section or something like that. Uh, just because this seems like it is a last thought and it, it's like an orphan that is put over here. It's not something that is uh, part of a bigger story. So this, is, this should be a story. More or less. And one thing which I saw in the start as well, I just wanted to go over the CV to see if it was pointed out. You don't have a, a mission statement in the start. It, it basically, if I open this CV, just looking at the academics right away, it feels like it is like pushed into my face. And I don't know why you are applying for my, my company. Uh, what is your what what that mission statement should have is what is your goal what do you want to do in your long term I, if you want to continue in an engineering path just put something over there that i want to work in this kind of an engineering environment so that i want to uh, build my technical knowledge or if i want to grow in uh, in a management direction that gives the person a little bit of a uh, idea where you want to go or what kind of things you will be willing to learn in the future as well uh, as well as giving them an idea, okay, that I can groom this person in a certain direction, right? That 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 does help. It, it doesn't have to be too long. It can be just two sentences and that's enough. But just try to put that because that gives a soft entry into the CV as well when you're reading it. Okay. Oh, it's I have it's a it's question it's from Mohammed sorry. Jalil that uh, we have a work experience uh, which is in a completely different sector than what you're applying for. Do I have to still elaborate? See, uh, I'll, I'll give you uh, an example. My background is software development, right? And I would not know anything about electrical, what is written over here. When I was skimming through it and I was literally a little bit uncomfortable when I was going to answer. That's why I, uh, I, I refer to Hassan to answer that, right? So you don't need to go into talk too much technical details, but still someone who has been working in an organization, in a professional environment for 10 odd years, they will be looking for these keywords like Hassan was mentioning that you led something, that you learned something, that you applied something, that you, um, that, that you um, created something, right? So use that information, what you have in a different sector and put it in this kind of a way, which still gives the person a feeling about what you were doing at the organization, even if they don't know the technical part. So that is the 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 the, the value that your previous work would bring to the uh, to to your uh, CV in that kind of an environment. In, again, I think usme again internship here mentioned kare usme wo zyada aapka experience dekhna bhi nahi cha rahe wo again kuch cheeze dekhna aapke work ethics dekhna cha rahe hain ki aapko professional environment ke work ethics ka bhi pata hai aap team player ho kuch cheez lead sheet kar sakte ho timelines meet kar sakte ho to use theek hai aapke technical expertise ka uska koi lena dena nahi hai but jo working environment ke other cheeze hain jisko aap soft bhi bol rahe ho to wo sari cheeze aapki wahan se cover hongi to isko exclude nahi karna to aapne i think wo technical details hain jo projects hain jo us job se related nahi hai usko aap kam kar do but generic cheeze jo har organization ko chahiye hoti hain aapne wo mention karni hai i would just say uh, add one more thing do not exclude anything that you have done matlab agar aapne kisi company mein kaam kiya hai for two, three months and it was completely unrelated. Uh, even agar aap, for example, aapne kahi pe uh, McDonald's ya KFC ke upar kaam kiya hai, put that there, just put one line. What that shows is that there is a continuity in your uh, work experience in the future. Or, uh, yeah, just now we, we, were, we were jumping on this point as well, ki ye June mein dono start ho rahe, right? Uh, 
so that continuity not having breaks in your uh, experience that gives a feeling of some safety to people when they're reading a cv if there is a break there will be a question why were you not doing something in that time right that is that will happen in the end so have an answer ready for that as well it can be a very a uh, legitimate reason that you uh, that you have and that is fine but the person will ask right so so just think of it from that perspective as well hamza we are a little short on time so i think next pay move ho jate hain we have three more series to go over so then i will go to sabir khan yes okay my pc is a bit slow i don't know why ye main chutiya to yaar main do mahine se maine pc nahi khola apna okay so jumping to shahzeb uh, again one thing i would mention this kind of mission statement that is missing so just just think of that uh we have the course we start code you have definitely bigger font uh, i I think uh, son that might be just my resolution. Oh, okay, so okay. Because I could do this. Then again Hasan is right headings or sub headings are almost similar hai. To thoda sa headings ko aap oh, this this kar. this might differentiation might happen. Yes. Yes. To thoda sa aapke I think is especially Shahzeb wali CV mein thodi niche space bhi available hai. To Yeah. Um uh okay shahzeb just a side comment i would just put this gpa somewhere in the same line that what it does is it it makes it it joins it to this uh, uh, place as well as it saves you two lines in your two lines in your cv so you can put more information right this seems a little bit of a waste of space of course even if you don't put two more lines of text in your cv you can do spacing using those two lines and that will make it a little bit more um presentable okay same goes for to this, this is a very uh, what i would say this is a very good approach uh, in your cvs i do this with my cv as well um, put a sentence highlight what is important in that sentence highlight the bullet points i can just read inspected 120 for price comparison okay observe competitor strategies you know about competitor pricing 300 plus rft visits 94% accuracy okay good i can move on so this helps me read a cv this is a very good thing and this helps a lot mm-hmm. let me go over the rest on any comments from your side five minutes see you can see my mouse even i'm i'm just without having that in my mind that i have to do it i'm going over these bolds now so you can get your message across very nicely with this यूएस and for some reason half of pakistan so so my camera is that way why am i turning that way i don't know sorry uh it's it's late it's fine so ek cheez please ye these are small things that you have to remember ke aapko like ye these are things like we don't really think about it or maybe nahi sochta jab tak main yahan nahi aaya tha and i realized ke oh most of my spelling are american spelling and that's not what's being used here that i got called out on that a few times so yeah just small things to keep in mind okay um from my side shahzeb there is one thing which is missing for me over here and that is if you are applying for a technical position again it, it uh, or even if it's a management position then the tools kind of thing that you've used in all of your work what are you proficient with that kind of a place is missing for me yeah yeah other skills mean like if you if like it's clear that you like you've got good 
knowledge of marketing tools and like digital tools so you should be having those like that those are technical tools other skills maybe any of that like knowing illustrator photoshop or like how google works in, and maybe organize it better like intermediate in these things and beginner with these things just make a nice table out of them or something like or something of sort like find a nice mm-hmm. creative interesting way to like if you use all those digital tools jo ke you know which are known for being creative to come up with a creative solution to present that information ये ऑनर्स में आई थिंक एक जो यंगेस्ट वाले पे थोड़ा होगा कि आपको पिछले 25 इयर्स का कैसे पता चलेगा कि सबसे यंगेस्ट आप हो तो ये डिबेटेबल हो सकता है तो पर्सनली आई थिंक यंगेस्ट एवर प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ एनी सोसाइटी एट जीआई के इंस्टीट्यूट ये थोड़ा डिबेटेबल है इसको आप थोड़ा रिव्यू कर लो एंड अ बिट ऑफ कंसिस्टेंसी लाइक यू आइदर राइट जीआई के इंस्टीट्यूट और यू राइट जीई एवरीवेयर लाइक राइट राइट यस एंड फ्रॉम माय पर्सपेक्टिव आई वुड जस्ट से ओके आपने सोसाइटीज मार्केटिंग हेड आपने टीम इन विक्टर से इधर मेंशन किया बट यू हैवंट गिवन टू मच ऑफ दैट एज़ वेल बट यू शुड हैव अ लिटिल बिट मोर अबाउट दैट ओवर हियर मे बी एंड फ्रॉम दिस सीवी आई वुड व्हाट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट आई वुड आस्क यू इन एन इंटरव्यू इज हाउ आर यू हैंडलिंग ऑल ऑफ दिस यू हैव थ्री पोजीशंस इन पैरेलल हाउ आर यू हैंडलिंग दैट and you should be ready for that question actually not not saying that it is a bad thing or if you should remove it or something but you should be ready for that uh, you should be able to show that you are contributing to them to all of these uh, either equally or whatever uh, but but you should be able to show how uh, that, that that it doesn't mean that these are just like a, a ceremonial position if you are writing it right you should be able to justify and you should be able to uh, discuss these in detail ठीक है हमजा आई थिंक लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन अगेन ओके सो नेक्स्ट वन लिंक्डइन प्रोफाइल xxx दिस डजंट लुक गुड फर्स्ट थिंग ऑफ कोर्स यू हैव द सॉफ्ट लिंक फॉर दैट इट ओवर देयर बट ओके द सॉफ्ट लिंक सेज इमान फैसल एंड द नेम इज उमेमा इसा सो आई नो हु यू कॉपीड द सीवी फ्रॉम also sorry ek just a quick note for everyone involved i think uh, please understand you can you don't have to write your linkedin profile ka url and then hyperlink it just write you know linkedin and like your linkedin ka short url hota hai and usko hyperlink kar lo just write linkedin and hyperlink that you don't just have to yeah. give in like a lengthy url and then just also hyperlink the same thing like you can do whatever you want especially in case ke andar by obviously copying it for someone else I'm not sure if I missed it. Yeah, I think I missed it in the other ones as well. Uh, but I'm not. It, it's not something that is super important. But it's it's always good to put the city that you're uh, that you're in uh, because that helps the person see if uh, if if they want to. Um, if, if you're uh, move, you're you're working in the same city, or if you're going to be if they want to ask you about moving or something like that. But it depends on where you're you're where you're applying. or which what kind of job you are applying for actually okay good a bit of formatting still needed so you can just look at that from my side ha ah, there is a spacing uh, education ke jo yeah. line hai aur jo leadership position ke niche line hai over here it, it it also in all of these like the spacings are not consistent it 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 may, it just gives a messy look a little bit of a messy look that's all okay uh, leadership positions I would say all of these are G I K. Save two lines. Move this one over here. We move G I K. That's fine. Uh, save three lines actually, um, like we saw in the previous CV. So formula G K team infinity dash member, and then you can put it. Uh, okay. See, this does not. 
give some um, detail about what you were responsible for as the sponsorship and liaison head. Right. So I would put like something about the actual work that you were doing about preparing uh, the the invites, uh, coordinating with the some some people on the other campuses or something like that. Put put those kind of bullets, which which shows exactly what you were doing rather than just saying invited and entertained. Right. Invited can be an email. Invited can be a very lengthy process as well, going through multiple different channels and and discussing with people. So try to give some more details that will. Make it a bit more richer. Okay. Um, again, in this one, uh, attended by three fifty participants each year. I don't care about the other years. How many were there when you were doing it? Like that. That is the one that is important. Uh, what were you managing and what was were your responsibilities? Is same I can also think that all the 300 are the same, but this time it's a little different, right? Um, and also over here, 11 modules based on robotics as well as programming drones and public speaking. Um, I'm I don't know if 11 modules were robotics only and the other were extra, or 11 modules may say majority robotics they were, and the other were. So try to word it a little bit differently so that you can put the focus. I think you are trying to put a focus on robotics because you have, uh, because this is most important for you. But but try to make it a little bit more clear. rather than having them bullets and have a paragraph under that that would just make it a little bit more uh, consistent taaki mujhe pata ho ke main kis mein usi cv ko pad raha hu okay i am going to the last one i think bullets mein kabhi space ek jagah space yeah. hai, ms ms office mein so just alignment okay last one we have is your sir no man good no linkedin or anything if you want to put something please do that that would help okay um out of all of this education for me the most important one is this one right the rest i might not even put too much focus on or to read that much so if you want to put more content in your cv uh, i would like structure it in a way that these are shorter and then you get more space to put something more in you don't exactly need dates um only the months is fine are fine enough uh, as well in a cv so it it just gives a better uh, it it just makes it a little bit shorter right you will see that i'm i'm focusing on things like how to make the cv shorter and clearer all the time and that's because this is what what jumps out the most at least to me when when i'm reading a cv um these are not Sorry, so, man. These are not aligned. The dates, uh, which I can't figure out what is going there. So, think of that. इसके अलावा भी जो I think experience की details start हो रही हैं creating और hand का I think वो भी aligned नहीं है. तो I think alignment, spacing और alignment पे 
कोई आई थिंक एक्सपीरियंस वो आप बुलेट में भी कर सकते हैं रदर देन हैविंग अ पैराग्राफ और कोमा डाल के आपने वो पैराग्राफ के इसको बुलेट्स में भी किया जा सकता है हैंड इन एक्सपीरियंस ऑन मेंटेनेंस आई आई बिलीव यू मीन हैंड्स ऑन एक्सपीरियंस अह बट या ट्राई टू लाइक phrase it a little bit differently uh, having something in brackets is generally um, it, it might get ignored a little bit or or looked over so try to build that into the sentence itself uh, how you were using these tools to do something it, uh, that would that would also give an example of uh, what you were doing at the organization uh, as well as simply just just put these in the uh, forefront as well i would give a little bit more more details of these like design and build a physical model of the breading machine okay using what what were you what were the tools involved what were the things why did you design it uh, some some a little bit more detail that gives that makes this a little bit richer um for the person to understand exactly what your part was that in in that if it was a team or not uh teamwork is quite important for or any organization of course because you are working in a bigger group right so if you can highlight that in your cv that is as that is a plus how you are working with the team Again, same similar thing over here. Okay, you designed those parts, but what was different? What were what was your achievement in that? Try to highlight something. If you can find something, try to put that over here. That makes you stand out, and that also makes that also shows that you know what you were doing or what you wanted to do. i would remove the question mark from here of course you were answering these questions but just having those is fine this the first time i looked at it i thought that you were asking me a question in the cv right so it it baffled me a little bit and i completely understand if you are thinking that these things that i am pointing out or we are pointing out are very small things that it does look like that but it makes a difference trust me uh awards and achievements got position in marathon race i would put this in a hobby right participating in marathons position got a position in something in the karate it's not an achievement related to a cv this is more of something like a hobby um position holder at school level okay that is fine but i would rather mention a position if you're going to mention it or skip it but for me this is the most important one because this is related to a technical thing that you were working on most probably if you're applying for a technical job that would be the one that plays in the most uh i would give more details about what you were doing what you were responsible for what um, was the whole uh, team what was the target of the team and what the was the achievement and your role in it that if you can put something small that would be helpful uh i in in a previous cv i mentioned like making sections right so this is an example of those sections simulation software then you have operating systems okay this can be like non technical and this can be software skills and, and you can put those like in uh software development sorry and you can put those in sections and this this becomes like a, okay if i want to if i want to hire someone in simulation i only want to focus on this this is all extra so in that way these kind of uh, sub categories help and that's all from my side at least hasan may have anything from your side for this no not really i think you basically managed to cover everything yes okay mayar bhai i think we are almost out of time or already out of time mayar bhai you are on mute 
हाँ नहीं नहीं यस वी एक दो चीज चीजें जो मैं करना बताना चाह रहा था आखिर में एक दो चीज जो आई थिंक मैं सबसे ज्यादा पर्सनली जो मुझे अनोय करती है जब भी मुझे सी मिलती है तो उसमें लोग अटैच पी मतलब इससे ज्यादा ये भी ना जहमत किया करें ये भी ये भी क्यों करते हैं बस सी वी भेज दे करें तो अगेन डोंट डू दिस मिस्टेक जब भी आपको सी वी भेज रहे हो तो मैंशन द पोजिशन आपको कहाँ से पता लगा है जो कवर लेटर की बात हो रही है वो इस तरह यूज नहीं हो रही लेकिन आप ई मेल की प्रॉपर बॉडी होनी चाहिए कि ठीक है आपको इस पोजिशन का लिंक से पता लगा है कंपनी की वेबसाइट से पता लगा है और या आपके किसी से ऑफ सीनियर से बात हुई है तो उसको ईमेल की बॉडी में कुछ ना कुछ प्लीज लिख दिया करें जस्ट अटैच और पी एफ ए करके ना भेजा करें और एक और जो चीज़ आई थिंक जो हमने एक्सपीरियंस से सीखी है एक ही सी हर जॉब जॉब के लिए नहीं चल रही होती ठीक है आपको डिफरेंट सी बेस्ड फर्स्ट इट्स अदर वे अराउंड आप पहले जाके जॉब की डिस्क्रिप्शन पढ़ते हो और उसके मुताबिक अपनी सी को आके मॉडिफाई करते हो और उसके लिए करते हो अब एक लेट से एक सी का बंदा है वो एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर में भी इंटरेस्टेड है तो जो मैनेजमेंट ट्रेनिंग की पोजीशन के लिए वो सीवी और एक हार्ड कोर टेक्निकल के लिए एक ही सीवी नहीं यूज़ कर सकता उसमें जिस तरह हमजा बता रहा था हमने हाईलाइट करना होता है जो मैनेजमेंट ट्रेनिंग वाली पोजीशन के लिए आप अप्लाई कर रहे हो उसमें आपने ये टीम बिल्डिंग टीम लीडिंग और इस तरह वाले टीम प्लेयर वाली चीज़ों को हाईलाइट करना है ठीक है ताकि उनका इंटरेस्ट इसमें होगा वर्सेस एक हार्ड कोर आप उसके लिए कर रहे हो तो आपको प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस उन चीज़ों को हाईलाइट करना है तो एक सी वी नहीं यूज़ करनी आप जॉब जिसके लिए अप्लाई कर रहे हो उसको फर्स्ट गो थ्रू करो अकॉर्डिंगली मॉडिफाई करो एंड देन अप्लाई जस्ट टू एड वन थिंग जो मेरे का पहला पॉइंट था इवन अगर मैंने आपको खुद व्हाट्सएप पे कहा कि यार मुझे अपना सी भेज दो आया पोजिशन still write a sentence over there that we were talking on whatsapp this 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 because maybe maine wo ek bande ko na kaha ho maybe maine wo char bandon ko kaha ho i have to stand out ya maine kisi aur ko kahin aur kaha ho ke mujhe apna cv to mere liye aasan hoga to recognize who this is and to handle it properly so that small body ek do sentence that helps a lot yes थैंक वी आर ओवर टाइम हमारी इसके बाद एक और भी है मीटिंग सो दैट्स वाई वी आर रिशिंग इट सो थैंक यू एवरी वन थैंक यू हमजा थैंक यू एहसान एंड आई थिंक स्टूडेंट्स के साथ मैं लिंक भी शेयर कर दूंगा मटेरियल भी शेयर कर दूंगा बट इन केस आई फॉर गेट हमारा यूट्यूब चैनल है लुमनाए का जिसमें प्रीवियस सेशन फ्री लैंसिंग इंटरव्यू और सी वी का लास्ट ईयर भी हुआ था तो आपको अगर कुछ एक्स्ट्रा हेल्प चाहिए किसी और सीनियर से आप कुछ देखना चाह रहे हैं तो सब कुछ हमारे यूट्यूब चैनल पर रिकॉर्डेड पड़ा है यू कैन गो थ्रू दैट एंड see and as hasan has been mentioning in case you guys have any questions please reach out to us connect us on linkedin jk jk alumni ka linkedin page uh, join kar le taaki aapko latest updates wagaira jo ki activities ho rahi hain kahan kahan jobs aa rahi hain alumni association kya kar rahi hai wo sab aapko pata chalta rahe hamza bhai hasan bhai thank you so much any last comments thoughts full drop uh, just the one uh, from my side best of luck and hope this helps <laughs> sorry at all i was just going to say yaar please uh, thoda sa proactive ho jao and reach out with questions like get you know just ke yaar oh cv is my cv good is it not you know just for a quick review just for a quick chat thodi si proactiveness ab show karna you know that this stage like you need to get out of the jiki style of you know being laid back yeah about time thank you i guess that's it thank you everyone thank you san thank you hamza and thank you everyone who attended it well 90 minutes spent so enjoy your rest of the week allah thank you